text messaging is the easiest way to make more money from your leads and past customers. I'm going to walk you through how to get A2P registered for text message marketing using my favorite all-in-one marketing and sales platform, High Level CRM. Hi, I'm Allie Bloyd, and I am a go high level and small business marketing expert. And today I'm going to walk you through the A2P registration process. And if you stay till the end, I'm going to show you how you can get a copy of my text message reactivation campaign that will allow you to reactivate past leads and past clients quickly and easily. Let's dive in. What you are looking at right now is lead connector phone through Go High Level CRM. In order to get there, we need to navigate to our settings in our sub account. So if we go to settings right down here, we're gonna be able to navigate to phone numbers. Now, if you are using lead connector phone, you are going to see these additional options here at the top, including trust center. Trust center is where we're actually gonna do the A2P registration. If you do not see these options, it means that you have not selected lead connector phone system for your account. If you wanna to switch to lead connector phone system or set it up for the first time, you're gonna to navigate to your agency level account by clicking on this drop down at the top and then going to your settings at the bottom left. We'll then click on phone integration. We can see right now that LC phone or lead connector phone has been enabled. If it has not been enabled, then we would be able to click the button to the right and enable that. If you previously connected Twilio, you will be able to switch from Twilio to lead connector, but there is about a 24 hour delay in the trust center showing up into your account. Now, once we're back on our sub account and in the phone numbers tab, we're gonna to navigate to Trust Center. There are two different pieces to A2P registration. The first is your brand. Think of that as you as a business. The next is your campaign, which is what are you gonna be using this for? The first thing that we're gonna do is click Start Registering Now. However, you are going to want some basic business information handy before you get started, such as your business address, the actual name of your business as listed on your incorporation documents, your EIN number, and a couple of other things. Let's go ahead and dive in. We'll click continue, and now you will see our legal business name, business type, business registration number, and then a few other details. We also have a business email and a website URL. We're then gonna hit continue after these have been filled in correctly. Then wanna confirm that all of our address details are correct and hit continue. And then finally, we have our contact information. This is the information for you as the business owner and authorized representative. If that's correct, go ahead and click continue. Now we have two options here. One is for low volume standard, one is for high volume standard. Most small business owners are gonna be fine with just low volume standard. However, if you intend on sending a lot of messages, then high volume standard is what you would wanna select. We also want to click this checkbox saying that there will be a $20.95 charge and additional campaign fees up to $12 per month in accordance with the TCR rules. We'll go ahead and click continue. Now we have this campaign use case. We've already got that low volume mixed, which is recommended. You can leave that as is. Now we have our use case description. Okay, this example says, this campaign sends appointment information, dash confirmation and reminder messages to customers once they booked an appointment with company name on website and opted in to receive promotional and notification SMS from company name. We can use very, very similar, if not the exact language that they are recommending to us here. The closer we have our language to what is presented, the better chance you're going to have of getting approved right away. In this first box, we've said this campaign sends information about home listings and appointment confirmation information to those who have requested it on our website and have opted in to receive promotional messages and reminders. Now we have our sample message one. These sample messages must include lead name, your name, business name, and opt out language. Their name is going to be an example. Your name is gonna be your name. 
Your business name is obviously your business name. And the opt out language is reply stop to unsubscribe. In this sample message, we've said, hi, John, this is Katie from KL Real Estate. Your appointment for Thursday, May 15th has been confirmed for 1 p.m. If you no longer wish to receive these messages, reply stop to opt out. Our second sample message is going to be another example of the type of text messages that your business will be sending. In this message, we say, hi, Brian, this is Katie Lewis from Katie Lewis Real Estate, LLC. Thanks for requesting information on our newest listing. Here is the link to get those details. And then we're going to insert that link. If you no longer want to get messages like this, reply stop to opt out. We want to make sure that any URL that was submitted does in fact have this consent checkbox associated with it. That also goes for any pages with calendars. That calendar form needs to have that terms and conditions checkbox on it if you want this to be submitted. You also want to make sure that your workflow where someone would opt in for the information that you provided does in fact have their name, your name, your business name, and the opt out language because this is a part of you being successfully registered. Once we have those messages input exactly as we want them, we can click continue. Now we hit the user consent screen. So how do leads or contacts consent to receive messages? So we're gonna tell them exactly how this happens. Example, end users opt in by visiting, insert the URL and filling in their details. Users check a box to receive notifications and promotional messages to provide their consent. Additionally, end users can also text start to insert number. So we are going to go ahead and grab a URL and we'll say end users opt in by requesting information on a listing here. They provide their contact details and click a check box consenting to getting promotional text and messages. Now we need to provide an example of our opt-in message. So we need to contain the business name and the opt-out keyword. In this message we read, thanks for opting in to request this information. If you no longer want to receive messages, reply stop to opt out dash the business name. Once we feel good about it, we're going to go ahead and hit submit. Once we've submitted those details, you're gonna to come to this screen where it shows that your review is in progress. The brand will be in progress first before the campaign has started. So if you don't see both saying in progress, don't worry, they're still going through the steps. We did it! You can typically expect that this is going to be approved or rejected within about 24 hours. So make sure you check back fairly quickly to see if you need to resubmit or if you're good to go. If you're good to go, you're going to go in the phone numbers tab or the manage numbers tab, and then you're going to purchase a phone number if you haven't already, or make sure that those phone numbers are configured correctly. If you were rejected, don't stress about it. Go ahead and try and resubmit. See what the reason was that your brand or your campaign was rejected. If your brand was rejected, it's likely because the information provided was not the accurate information. If your campaign was rejected, it's likely because the URL that you provided did not have the checkbox consent on it. And that's it. In about 24 hours, you're gonna be ready to send out promotional or conversational text messages to leads or clients and get your business growing using text message marketing. If you are interested in getting three free text message-based workflow campaigns, including the reactivation campaign that I mentioned, click the link below this video and you're going to get access to that 100% for free. If you have any questions, make sure to drop those in the comments. If this video has been helpful, make sure that you like it and subscribe to my channel so you never miss anything new.